guys, this is my um, room for the next few days. It's pretty cosy, which is what I was expecting. It's just me staying. But to be honest, it is all about the views. Just take this off. Whew. So yeah, look at this. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous view. Look at these views. Now this is why I decided to stay here for Christmas day. As soon as I can't kind of be with my family. Um, yeah, I just thought this would somehow make up for it. Look at that. This is the view from the bed. Loving that lamp. Look at that, so nice. It's all I need really for a couple of nights, just a nice comfy bed. So again, you probably can't see because of the light, but the view out of there. Just put my bag down. Ugh. So lots of storage, it looks like, which is good. I mean, I've not actually brought much at all for a couple of nights. And let's just have a look. Bathroom. I mean, a bathroom is a bathroom, but let's check it out. So this is the bathroom, guys. It's me. <laughs> so yeah, lovely. Oh, it's really cute. You've got all your little essentials, which is sweet. Really nice brands as well, actually. And you've also got the Aromatherapy Co. Sweet Lime and Mandarin Essential Oil Spray. Ashley & Co, which is a great brand. So yeah, really lovely, really clean, really minimal. I mean, a really nice shower as well. Really huge shower, actually. Gosh. So yeah, more Ashley & Co products. So yeah, really nice as a couple of nights stay. Already heated towels, which is lovely. So yeah, I mean, pretty good to be honest. Um, it's kind of all what I need. Nice bit of artwork. But yeah, really, really good space for me, to be honest. I don't know if it would be a bit small for a couple, um, but certainly, I mean, look at that mirror. I mean, that's a picture in a picture, really, isn't it? Clearly, that's why they've put it there. But that's gorgeous. Oh, my gosh. I've just noticed how, oh, my God, adorable is that? If anyone knows me, they know I'm a bit of a chocolate fiend. And I am a bit partial to Ferrero Rocher as well. And there's one on each pillow. I mean, clearly, they're both for me because I'm staying on my own. But, oh, love that little touch. Really lovely. I'll put the details of the Airbnb that I'm staying in in the description bar below. I think they've won some awards as well, which, again, I'm I'm not surprised. I mean, look, look at the views. Um, it is quite on the top of a hill in Queenstown, so it's not right in the town. So, I mean, to get an Uber from the airport, it's going to be about 30, 40 New Zealand dollars. I got a little shutter, which was like 20 bucks. Um, but yeah, if you're walking, um, the hill is a bit nuts. But um, yeah, it's a bit of a initial kind of check out of the area. I'll let you know what I think. I mean, I've been to Queenstown many times, but I've always stayed in the city, in the kind of town centre area. Um, but this time it was more about kind of solitude, quiet, chill out. You know, I can't be with my family for Christmas. Um, but yeah, it's um, it's an alternative option, really. But I mean, look at that absolutely awesome view. Don't know if you can kind of see a little bit closer. Some of the boats are out. I mean, it's going to look stunning at night. Absolutely stunning. I'm not sure if my phone will be able to pick it up, but um, I'll try it later. So, yeah, so all in all, I think it's um, pretty good. Really, really cute. I like the fact the bed's really quite high as well. I mean, I'm a bit of a short ass anyway, but um, but yeah, really nice. So just my key and just a little menu, which a lot of Airbnbs do, just to give you a bit of an idea of 
what you can do, what are the rules of the house. Yeah, so I'd say um, the hosts were pretty good, actually. They're really communicative. Um, I emailed them a couple of times to just check a few details. Um, I like the fact they've got a little manual as well. And getting here was fine. Um, I would say it's quite hilly. So if you are going to get, like, if you're going to do a lot of walking, bear that in mind. Um, also, as well, if you've got any kind of disability, um, just because of the steepness and the gravel nature of where this is, um, it's not flat surfaces. So something to think about. But for me, I mean, I'm not the fittest, but um, but it'll be fine for a couple of days. For me, it was more about the solitude, the quiet, just enjoying Christmas Day, even though it will be on my own and I won't see my family. I'll be Skyping and Zoom calling most of my family back in the UK through most of Christmas Day. Um, but I just wanted to just leave Auckland, have a few days away, just, you know, break it up a bit. Now we can, kind of the brief time we've got. Um it's a shame I'm not going to see my family. Um, uh, you know, I'm gutted, but, you know, these are the current world events. So we'll just see how it goes next year. Um, but yeah, I love Queenstown. I've been many times before. It's in the South Island. So basically I'll put um, an image on screen just to give you an idea of geographically where I am um, in relation where I've just come from. Um, but it was like about an hour and a half flight. So not too bad, to be honest. I mean, to be, I actually slept through it in the end. Um, I was pretty tired this morning, but um, but no, really, really nice. Really like the location. Um, yeah, I mean, so far so good. I think first impressions wise, I'd say it's looking good. So I'll touch base with you later. Just been checking out the um, stuff in the room. So we've got teas and coffees. Looks to be peppermint, chamomile tea. I don't actually drink tea or coffee, so I don't usually make the most of this kind of section. But for you guys to know, so just a coffee machine, bits of cutlery and glass. And I clocked this earlier. This is very me. I do love a good kind of chill out colouring book which is really sweet. Um, I'll link um, below my Amazon haul that I got um, a load of things like coloring books and things. But uh, this is actually quite me and pretty chill, whether it's for kids or adults. I don't really care, to be honest. I think um, it's ideal for me. So look at the view, that's a lot better for you guys to see. Look at that, absolutely stunning. Gosh, probably doesn't do it justice on the camera, but um, yeah, it's so nice. Oh my gosh. So you've got such a good all the way view, which is really nice you a bit of an idea if you come and stay. Yeah, so this is the Airbnb in Queenstown. So I'll be here for a couple of nights and uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm sure I can probably sit there, have a nice little breakfast in the morning, Christmas day. So yeah, and there's the room. It's very bijou, which um, I fully expected. Um, I don't really need a massive bedroom just for me. And for me, it was all about the views, totally all about the views. And this completely hits the mark. Look at that, it's so peaceful. So this is my um, walk down into the town, all downhill, which, you know, obviously means all uphill back, 
otherwise known as Uber Star for Joss. So we're just coming into uh, the centre part of town. It took me about 10 minutes, I'd say, to walk from the Airbnb. I was going quite slow, um, just because I've got a bit of a gammy left knee. So we're just coming to the um, edge of the town. That hill was pretty steep, actually. So I don't know what it's like in the summer, well, in the winter, when it's really snowy, because uh, I'd have really fell over. And my sense of coordination and balance is below par. As you can see, just you've got Queenstown Hill walking track. Visitors info. So it looks like they've got a Spates Ale House. These are quite common in New Zealand. Uh, Spates, for my understanding, is a type of ale and stuff that's popular here. This looks like to be also a steakhouse. Now guys, it's Christmas Eve at the moment, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do for food Christmas Day. I mean, everything will be closed here because it's a public holiday, which is, you know, fair enough. Um, and yeah, I'm not sure whether I should buy something now. We've got a little fridge in the Airbnb. Um, Maybe I should get a few little picky bits. Um, any ideas? I mean, maybe like a little kind of cheese and crackers kind of vibe. accommodation, things around the city. So if you're not quite sure you've ever been here before, this gives you a bit of an idea where to go. So it's quite handy. This is just one of the main uh, streets. There's quite a few of them in Queenstown, but these are just lots of retail stores, kind of craft stores, clothing in New Zealand that you can get. So it's quite cute really. And if um, you want to get anything kind of very touristy, kind of Kiwi style, this is one of the good shops for it. So lots of bits and bobs. So we're just coming to the um, oh, Madame Wu. That looks yum. And then we're just coming to the very end where the water is. Which is a bit more of an idea. A couple of 
for more retail stores. Look cool. The visitor here. Oh, he's on. Gonna get some crumbs and a bit of food, probably. What kind of um, water activities you can do. I'm not the best on water. I get a little bit kind of seasick. But um, I've had friends that have done these and they're meant to be wicked. So uh, probably nicer in the summer though, not as cold, but it uh, looks pretty cool. Lots of little kind of stalls outside, selling little bits. Aww. So you can just see behind me, the hydro tanks again. And then a bit more the mountains in the background. And then you can just hear some of the boats kind of going off at the moment, loading up the people. There's some of the jet beat jets out there, the orange ones. Looks like people are getting loaded up. So that's cool. And then there's some shops behind me. So, yeah. So this is the Finn Seafood and Grill Queenstown. Gives you a bit of an idea of the pricing. So you've got things like uh, oysters, you've got crab, you've got tempura soft shell, just 26, yeah, 26 dollars fifty. Some vegetarian options, some beef short ribs for forty-one dollars, and then you've got some market specials. So it gives you a bit of an idea of pricing. So this looks a bit of a funky boat. Promenade Cafe, fresh food, local wines, mm. a bit different, not done that before but let me know if you guys have. Now this is the place I'm meant to be coming this evening but I'm just not really feeling it to be honest. Um, I mean, who doesn't love ribbon steaks? I mean, unless you're vegetarian but um, I don't know, I'm just not getting the right vibe. So we'll see, I might do something a bit different. So this looks kind of cool. This is Middle Road Fragrance Studio.
So this is another sushi, but I'm like, there's a guy. So I think this is a good spot to sit and have a bit of lunch. Just chill out. So I got something from Fur Baker. We actually got a blue cheese steak pie. So it's quite warm. Let's give this a go. So this is it. Berg Baker, Queenstown, on 40 Shot Over Street. 